It's exactly 8 a.m. on a Saturday. Day 166 of 365. I have not got a clue why I've been awake for an hour and a half already. But I'm going to make the most of getting up this early and visit a great Newport institution. Lloyd Miller. You see, I've been promising to go see Lloyd at work now for about a year now. He works on a fish counter in the indoor Newport market. If you watch my vlogs regularly, you would have seen him quite a lot before. He's been quite a few, actually. I even have it on good authority that some of his friends watch my vlogs just to catch a little glimpse of the Lloyd himself. Newport Town Centre is dead at 8am in the morning. And one thing in common with all these shop fronts and businesses that are here in Newport is every single one of them will know who Lloyd Miller is. I'm not really sure what time he starts work actually. It's nice to see the town looking so empty. So, how do you find the fish market? This is Newport Town Centre and uh, anyone who's been here will know where McDonald's is. Currently it's covered up by uh, scaffolding. But just a bit further on, round in that direction, there's an indoors market where you can find Lloyd selling fish. Only on a Saturday though. There you go, Newport Market. Everything's closed in here at the moment because I'm so early. Well, not quite everything, but the majority of stuff. Actually, you know what? It's quite a hustle and bustle in here at this time in the morning. Right, the fish count is going to be round here. What time does Lloyd start? Sorry? What time does Lloyd start? Know, he's downstairs. Okay. Be a okay. Lloyd's here apparently. He's just downstairs getting ready. <laughs> there he is. He didn't notice me. <laughs> Hi Lloyd. How you doing Lloyd? Can I interest you in any shop? Any fish? No, I don't eat fish or meat. I'm a vegetarian. But thank you very much. What time do you finish work, Lloyd? Eleven. Eleven? What time is it now? Eight. It's about eight o'clock now, isn't it? Yeah, 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 about that. What are you doing this afternoon? This afternoon I'm doing a wedding. Wedding photographer. He's a man of all trades. He does fish, he does photography. <laughs> that there was the uh, phenomenon that's known as Lloyd Miller. I'd like to stay and chat with him, but I don't want him to lose his job because of me. So if you want the fish, you know where to go. I'm hungry now. I want some breakfast. I'm not quite sure where to go. There's so many different places to choose from in Newport. Just kidding. There's obviously the McDonald's in town. There's three of these Greg shops all along the same street. Cedars Cafe is my favorite, but it's obviously quite closed at the moment. There's also three different Weatherspoons pubs. Ah, BHS has a restaurant, apparently, for just 99p. I think I'm going to hang around till they open to try this out. I just hope they've got a vegetarian option. Fifteen minutes to wait. There's a bit of a queue forming outside BHS. One, two, three, four, five, six people waiting to go in and have breakfast. Oh, here we go, it's opening. I feel like a lemming. I'm on the conveyor belt of commercialism. Uh, 
Uh, can I get hash brown? Uh, so that's one, one breakfast and a store. Uh, fried rice and toast and Okay. Uh, brown toast. So, what do you get with five items in a 99p breakfast? Well, as you know, I'm vegetarian, so there's no meat, but there's a choice of sausage and bacon there as well. And for 99p, that is not a bad little plate. But there's a catch. You've got to buy a pot of tea for £1.25 and it is pathetic in size so altogether that cost me £2.24 really that didn't take long at all quite nice though it's 20 past 9 I think I'm gonna head back home now I think Bev's still in bed she hasn't even got up yet town's starting to busy up a bit it's nice this time in the morning it's not noisy there's no stupid buskers and it's quiet there's none of the skanks out. I think I'll get a couple of pints of milk for Beverly from Asda. I'm not going to let her know I had breakfast in BHS. She can find out when she watches this video. I will get one scratch card. There you go. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. What an absolute waste of money these things are. Although you might remember the other day I won 40 quid on the first one I bought in two years. Milk. <sighs> right, let's have a look. Connect four. Match four of these or these in a horizontal or vertical line. Not a peanut. Well, at least I can know my money's gone to good causes. No money left now. And here we are, back home to the Opal. Gonna wake Bev up and give her a milk. I think the National Lottery is a good thing. It's like an optional good causes tax. No matter how much you play, you're gonna lose in the long run, apart from a very few select people. But it's gonna go to things like buildings and projects and things that are gonna add to our heritage in a long time to come. Bev, Bev, where are you? Where are you, Bev? Bev, 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 where are you? Where are you, Bev? Are oh, you there? <laughs> Time for Beverly to wake up, I think. Wake up, Bev! Wake up, Bev! Wake up, Bev! <laughs> that worked. It got Bev out of bed. On the laptop, working already. She's already had her breakfast, too. Meanwhile, I've made Bev some sandwiches because we're going to go outside and have a picnic in the sun somewhere. Picnic's in the boot. We're off to Asda to get some drink and then we're going to head out in the sunshine to lie on the grass and enjoy our day. Hello. Here she comes with the cool cups. We decided to come up into the mountains where it's a bit cooler, but we're closer to the sun. How does that work? <laughs> oh, all the sheep look scraggy. We've come to this beautiful viewpoint in Wales called uh, Fox Hunter and uh, it's called that because it's the burial place of a very famous racehorse called the Fox Hunter. Have a look at that for a view, absolutely stunning, you can see for a hundred miles. And it's like that in every direction too that you look, so we're just going to get a blanket out and eat some sandwiches. Mm. There you go. When Sam does picnic spots, Sam does picnic spots. I'm a little bit scared though, the sheep are watching us. Yeah, we're going to sit here and eat our sandwiches now. And I think I'll finish up the video there. So I can uh, enjoy the rest of the day with Bev. And not have to worry about recording everything. Because we're coming up to 10 minutes anyway. It's day 166 of 365. Thank you very much for watching. Go and watch some of my other videos too and uh, subscribe and stuff. Bye!